just doing a rough cut right now. Just going to do a little bit more on the net. Whenever you do this way, cutting upward on the hair, it does cut a little bit closer. You have to be careful not to get too close to their skin. Okay. After the rough cut on the back side, just lift them up. And we're gonna shave all that hair on the tummy. And Annie is pregnant right now, so she's got she's got nipples. So I'm gonna just kind of cut around those nipples. And you just kind of go up the middle, and then off to the side. And then shave a little bit on their legs too, their underside of their legs. Be careful not to cut the skirt. Yeah, be careful not to cut their skirt when you're doing this side. So just kind of fan it out like that. And depending on what time of year it is, during the summer months, we kind of go up high, but in the winter we just kind of leave about halfway. So she's down on the underside. And now I'm going to do the scissor work on her ears. And you just want to cut around the ear line. And what I do is I kind of will feel where the edge of her skin is. And I'll just make a blunt, straight across cut there. That way I know exactly where the edge is. And then from there, just round it out. Just fan out the hair. And you can see kind of a line there, and that'll be kind of your, your guide. But if you're not sure, just, you know, do a little bit at a time and you can kind of feel that you can go a little more. Do the same thing on the other side. They usually have a fold right in here somewhere, so be real careful. And you can see where the hair, see how the hair is different there? That's where that fold is. When you get to the inside of the ear, we buy this stuff. It's called ear powder. You can get it anywhere, PetSmart, Petco, wherever. And it's just a powder. It doesn't feel like there's anything in it. So you want to put it inside the ear. Just put it in there. We're using more than that, but I've already done that part. And just kind of wiggle it in there. And take your fingers and just pull the hair out. And all that hair comes out really easily. I like to, where's my tweezers? I like to get tweezers and just carefully go inside. Don't go too deep, but you can get more out of there. 
Keep your tweezers straight up. Keep your tweezers straight up because if you don't, you might hit the eardrum. But just little pieces of hair that are coated with wax. Because all that hair in the schnauzer's ears will cause an ear infection if you don't keep up with it. When you get to the eyebrows, just comb them straight out this way. Take your scissors, and I like to go this way along this side because you get a better cut, and just kind of lift up the hair so you know where the eyebrows are, and just cut at an angle that way. And it gives them a real nice schnauzer look. And I like to round out the hair right here I like to just cut it straight so it gives them like a boxy look. I just take around there and just kind of cut it just like that. And you can take your scissors and just trim those loose hairs that way. But never cut their beard. Their beard should grow pretty long. It won't grow real long, but it'll stay probably about right here. Annie is a year old, so her beard will grow maybe about another inch or so before she's full grown. Doing the other eyebrow. And when you do the eyebrow, you want to get a line from the the start of the eyebrow to the nose. That's your, your guide there. Okay. And I'll take this uh, blade again and I'll trim that real nice so that it's, that it's perfect. Okay. Now when you do the, the body, you want to comb them out with a pin brush and this is a pin brush and this works real good because it really doesn't pull on their hair um, a lot of times schnauzers will mat so you want to make sure and, and brush them regularly we're really lucky with Annie she has great hair she she almost never ever has a mat but most of them do um, and, it's, and it's real soft so what we like to do is just kind of brush their hair and, and you can go down and then go up too because that will take a lot of the tangles out. And if they do have a mat, this tool works really, really good. And what it is, it has a blade underneath there. So when you brush them, you, you go down and it just really breaks up the mat real good. I also like to use this. You have to be careful with these combs though because they really pull. What I like about these combs is that if you do have a mat you can hold it at the top and go into the mat with a point and then just kind of work it out and that will break it up real nice. Yeah, She's got a small mat right there. Sorry. And that just breaks it out. 